Hello everybody, Echo Sugar 5 Papa Whiskey November here with a quick video about the IC705. The quest or the problem here is that I managed to fry the Zen DLC part of the radio. Normally, when the radio goes to transmit, it should uh, short uh, the port to ground or the pins, and when you receive, it should be around 4 volts. But I will hook up the uh, multimeter and see what is going on there. So I have hooked up the cable to the port. Uh, it is in uh, RX and it measures around 1 volt, which is weird. And when I go to TX, it dropped to like, I don't know, 70 millivolts or something like that. Which is weird and clearly broken. So this is the IC705 service manual and on the connect unit uh, which houses the send ALC port we could see that those two MOSFETs are here that are doing the switching to ground. The Q32 and Q31. Uh, if you look around in the internet about these uh, MOSFETs, you will see a lot of topics uh, com coming up about those two uh, MOSFETs being the reason uh, for why the Send ALC port uh, is not working. And uh, I will try to replace them. So this is the original MOSFET that is found inside uh, radio. But the problem with this uh, specific uh, MOSFET was that I wasn't able to find it in any uh, web stores available to me. And uh, based on that I started looking for an alternative uh, MOSFET and I found one. Uh, it's called the AO3400A, basically the same thing, most of the specs are the same. Uh, most important thing, the pinout is the same and all that. And a small thing, for example, that is different is, for example, the continuous string current. It's, this one, it has 5.7 amps. On the original one, it's uh, 5.8 amps. But realistically, this thing will never see those kinds of amperages anyway, so it doesn't uh, matter. So what I'm going to do is order this one and replace those uh, with those original ones. So now it's open. Uh, the face uh, plate is held together with uh, six screws, you open that, it pops open, you remove the two ribbon cables and what you will see is this board here and this is where the port lives and it, it has a little bit circuitry here. As you can see those are those two MOSFETs so I managed to remove those two MOSFETs, these are the new ones, and I will now we'll try to solder them on, without breaking it. I got uh, MOSFET replaced, or MOSFETs, and reassembled that board, and now we'll put together the radio and test it to see if it worked. Now I have assembled the radio and we're looking at healthy 4.2 volts in RX and when I go to TX it drops to zero. So it is uh, working perfectly. So yeah, thanks for watching and 73s.